the popularity of drones is skyrocketing, with more people flying them every year. These small yet powerful devices can access remote areas effortlessly. While most drone footage captures breathtaking scenes, some reveal shocking and eerie sights. From the bizarre fly geyser to an angry roo, here are the 20 scariest and most chilling discoveries caught by drones. Number 20. Fly Geyser Most of the time, we identify formations as either artificial or natural formations. But sometimes, natural phenomena coincide with human error and result in something spectacular. This alien-looking rock formation can be found off of State Route 34, Gerlach in Nevada, United States. The origin of this curious phenomenon is quite strange. The first geyser found at the site was formed in 1916. A well was drilled in this location by people seeking irrigation water, but instead of finding adequate water, they found geothermal water that's pretty much close to its boiling point. And so, the well was abandoned, and a 10 to 12 foot calcium carbonate cone formed in time. This was the formation of the first geyser. After a few decades, a geothermal energy company drilled a second well near the first geyser. However, it failed again because the water wasn't hot enough to use for energy purposes. Today, the fly geyser is a spooky alien-like formation that sprays water that reaches up to a burning 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, if you're interested in visiting this formation, Fly Ranch is located on private land, and it's not currently open to the public. Number 19. Japanese Police Drone Drones are incredible, but not everyone is a huge fan of them. And just like other things in this world, they can be utilized for not-so-great deeds. But as they say, sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. What better method is there than to use a drone to stop another drone? In Japan, police deploy net-carrying drones to catch rogue ones. It looks pretty much like a scene out of an action movie. Whenever they see suspicious-looking drones, authorities would then use these police drones to stop them. Some countries have rules and laws regarding drones, but to this day, drones are still a gray area in many places. But in Japan, they're pretty strict when it comes to drones flying into restricted airspace, especially places near government buildings. Number 18. Haunted Tunnel. This tunnel is located near Picton, a small historic town about 80 kilometers southwest of Sydney. This tunnel is about 180 meters long, connecting Picton Junction and Thirlmere. It first opened in February 1867, and ever since then, it's been known for its haunting past. During the Second World War, this tunnel was used as a storage for ammunition, tanks, mustard gas, and other lethal military supplies. Many people allegedly took their own lives in this very tunnel. But perhaps the most haunting story that locals share is the tale of a woman named Emily. She's known as the tunnel's ghost. According to local records, Emily Bollard was killed by a train in 1916, and ever since she died, her ghost stayed inside the tunnel and continues to appear to people as an apparition. The locals also reported sightings of strange white lights and shadowy figures appearing in the corner of their eyes. Ghostly children and other strange phenomena also purportedly appear in the tunnel. I guess it's only natural with the tunnel's dark history. Dark history or not, this tunnel gives me heebie-jeebies all the time. Number 17. Migrating Stingray There are just some things that are better appreciated from a bird's eye view. Just take a look at this. This is the beautiful stingray migration. In this phenomenon, as many as 10,000 stingrays travel together, and they do this each year. In fact, they do this twice a year. They usually migrate in huge groups, and it's impossible not to spot them. If you ever happen to witness this in real life, you would say that nature is incredible. Researchers believe that stingrays migrate because of the seasonal changes in water temperature, as well as the sun's orientation. And so, twice each year, these magnificent creatures head to their new feeding grounds, only to return to warmer water as the seasons change. I know it might be tempting to try and swim with these creatures, but only professionals can try to attempt such a difficult feat you see. They might be impressive looking, but their sting can easily kill. Not everyone has the chance to witness this wonderful phenomenon in real life, but if you're one of those few that had the chance, please don't forget to share your experience in the comments below. Number 16. Black-Eyed Girl on the Canic Chase This drone footage was captured on Canic Chase, also known locally as The Chase, located in Staffordshire, England. Canic Chase is known for its popularity among mountain bike users as well as hikers. However, aside from bike enthusiasts, it's also well known for its sinister history and paranormal activities. The chase has long been tied to paranormal and supernatural activities. Countless sightings of black dogs, werewolves, ghosts, Bigfoot, big monstrous cats, and even UFOs have been reported in this place. However, like most claims, they usually don't have any solid evidence to support them. The black-eyed children of the Canic Chase are one of the alleged entities that haunt the area. 
In this footage, you can see one of them hidden behind the trees. The footage is kind of blurry, but if you look closely, you'll see that someone or something is hidden behind the trees wearing white clothes. This girl is allegedly one of the black-eyed children that haunt the Canuck Chase seeking justice. These children were allegedly victims of the murders that happened in the late 1960s. There's no conclusive evidence that these children are indeed haunting the Canuck Chase, but a substantial number of locals and tourists claim that they do feel heebie-jeebies on the trail. Do you think this footage really captured a drone? Or could this be just a clip of a real girl playing amongst the trees? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Number 15. Bear Chases Drone Okay, before I show you this clip, how knowledgeable are you about black bears? I guess it's common knowledge that these creatures can be pretty ferocious. There are about 750,000 black bears in North America, and they kill less than one person each year on average. Now, that's not really a terrifying statistic, but trust me, these guys can injure someone, especially when they're really mad. What was it that they used to say? Let sleeping dogs lie? Well, you should also let black bears eat in peace, or else they might decide that your drone is better for lunch, until they realize that tech isn't appetizing at all. But by then, your precious drone is already torn to pieces. This man saw a bear snacking on a freshly caught fish and decided to film the bear while eating. But I guess the fella didn't agree on filming a mukbang with a drone operator, so he chased the drone away. While the bear was too busy running after the drone, a bird in the background, ever the opportunist, took away a piece of the dead fish. Ha, huh, maybe the drone and the bird are accomplices. Maybe at least the bird got a snack out of it, and the drone safely avoided the bear. Number 14. Hand in the desert. Imagine you're just wandering the desert, and you suddenly see this huge hand sticking out of the sand. This is La Mano del Desierto, or the Hand of the Desert. It's located in none other than the driest nonpolar desert on Earth, the Atacama. Here, in one of the driest and most barren places on Earth, lies this hand that's about 36 feet tall. This sculpture is the creation of Mario Irrazable, a sculptor from Chile that worked on it in 1992. Just as how the hand is alone in the middle of nowhere, Mario created the hand to represent human loneliness, torment, and fragility. It's an homage to the human soul's weaknesses against all of the suffering in life. Its meaning is pretty deep, and many people all around the globe find this hand sculpture weirdly impactful, although spotting it in the middle of the desert might be creepy. Over the years, the hand has been graffitied and painted by visitors that wanted to leave their marks behind after visiting the hand. Some call these handwritings and paintings artistic vandalism, and personally, they just add a whole new meaning to the sculpture. What's more is that apparently the artist doesn't really mind these handwritings and paintings, but the hand is still restored several times every other year. Number 13. Eastern State Penitentiary The Eastern State Penitentiary, also known as ESP, is a former American prison in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It served as a prison from 1829 until 1971, but unlike the prison that we see today, ESP is incredibly different. Notorious criminals like Al Capone and bank robber Willie Sutton were held inside the penitentiary. Unlike regular prisons where people are kept in jail together and monitored collectively, criminals in the Eastern State Penitentiary underwent an experimental method to reform criminals. Just as its name suggests, the penitentiary tried to change lawbreakers through strict isolation. ESP aimed to become a breakthrough program among other jail systems. Inmates here were usually escorted to their cells with a dark hood placed over their heads. This method ensures that the criminals wouldn't know the outline of the whole place. The only thing they would become familiar with were their jail cells. The inmates lived inside ESP in total isolation, with only a Bible as their sole possession. They were allowed to make shoes and weave in their free time, but aside from occasional visits from authorities, they were mostly left alone in hopes that they would reflect on themselves and realize their wrongdoings. It only makes sense that isolation would lead to a change of heart. After all, solitude can be pretty powerful. However, when Charles Dickens visited the penitentiary in 1842, he claimed that he wasn't so convinced with the method. Dickens said, quote, I hold the slow and daily tampering with the mysteries of the brain to be immeasurably worse than any torture of the body. Sadly, the system that ESP followed soon proved to be unsustainable. The one-to-one -one ratio of cells to inmates became a problem. By the 1960s, the penitentiary started falling apart. It held 75,000 inmates throughout its operation, and today only curious tourists and ghost hunters step foot on its premises. Seeing the decaying state of the place just makes it look haunted, but with a grim past to the penitentiary, it's only normal that people would associate it with ghosts and angry spirits. Number 12. China's Glass Bridges It seems that glass floor attractions have gained popularity in recent years. However, glass bridges in particular have been more popular in China. In fact, there are about 2,300 glass bridges in China alone. 
Most of them can be found in the mountain ranges, and most of them offer a thrilling experience, but sometimes it's a little too thrilling. Walking on bridges suspended more than a thousand feet from the ground is already horrifying, but imagine walking on top of a glass bridge where you can see the ground below. Sounds like a fun way to get vertigo. What's more interesting about us humans is that even if we know we'll be scared of something, we still do it anyway. You can regularly see people visiting glass bridges even if they can't move an inch after reaching the middle of the transparent bridge. Unfortunately, there have been a few incidents related to glass bridges, and a few of them were shut down due to the risks. So do you dare cross China's glass bridges, or would you rather get the experience by spectating with a drone? Number 11. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone After the nuclear disaster that occurred in 1986, the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone became one of the most radioactive places in the entire world. To this day, Chernobyl is still pretty radioactive and people only go here to visit, but no one is allowed to stay. The iconic roller coaster is one of the most well-known landmarks in Chernobyl. This amusement park was supposed to open a few weeks after the explosion. However, its grand opening was halted by the meltdown of the nuclear plant. Only stalkers and people that are into dark tourism choose to visit this area. Stalkers are people that illegally trespass in Chernobyl to admire the place or to enjoy the solitude in the area. Meanwhile, dark tourism is a type of tourism where people visit places with a dark history. However, as years pass by, Chernobyl turned from being a no-man's land to a habitat of different wildlife. Number 10. Sasquatch Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot, is a large, hairy humanoid creature that most people believe resides in the northwestern part of the United States and western Canada. Sasquatch is generally described as a primate-like creature that's about anywhere from 6 feet to a staggering 15 feet tall. It's often said to have an incredibly foul smell and a very high-pitched cry. Despite the stories about Sasquatch, there's still no conclusive evidence about the existence of this creature. Now take a look at this clip. This drone footage reportedly captured Bigfoot shaking several trees in the forest. Some netizens even claim that they could almost make out a strange figure amongst the trees. What do you think? Did this drone really capture solid evidence that a gigantic humanoid creature like Bigfoot exists? Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Number 9. Maradalir Volcano Recently, tens of thousands of people hiked the steep, jagged trail just to get a glimpse of this active volcano on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula. It's located about 25 miles southwest of its capital, Reykjavik. Sounds pretty reckless, I know. But hey, you only live once. There's actually a way to see this active volcano without getting too close, you can just use a drone. According to tourism officials, almost 23,000 people made the difficult trek in the past few weeks. The view is really breathtaking, literally and figuratively as well. Aside from the tedious hike, there's also the risk of inhaling toxic gas and suffering from hypothermia because of the cold winds. According to the authorities, a small eruption poses little to no hazard, but they still advise the public to maintain a considerable distance from the volcano. After all, a massive explosion might result in molten lava being spewed out across startling distances. Drones are really amazing, and so is nature. This clip almost looks like it was captured from a volcanic alien planet. As mesmerizing as it looks, the molten lava is extremely dangerous, and there's also a huge chance that this natural attraction could lead to a catastrophic disaster. Number 8. Angry Roo They're cute and they look cuddly, but they also give a nasty kick. Kangaroos are amazing creatures found mainly in Australia. You might want to see one of them up close, but after seeing this footage, you might think twice. While kangaroos are usually gentle creatures, they won't hesitate to attack if they're provoked or feeling threatened. They're also on high alert when they're trying to protect their young. They're still wild animals, after all, and they can be unpredictable. In this footage, you can see a few kangaroos. The drone operator chose to focus on these two, a young kangaroo and its protective mother. The rest of the group kept their distance from the drone, wary of the strange flying object. However, the duo stopped in their tracks to observe the drone before hopping away once again. When the mama kangaroo noticed that the drone was still pursuing them, they again stopped in their tracks. Here's where it all went wrong. The drone tried to get closer, and of course, the agitated roo lunged toward the drone and took it down in an instant. I guess in the end, the owners still managed to retrieve their drone, but I think they learned their lesson. Don't mess with the roos. Number 7. Drone Lifting a Man One of the things that people are looking forward to about drones is that someday they can be used to deliver things. Just imagine all your packages being delivered by a drone. Some people even do it today. They use their drones to deliver food, coffee, money, and letters. There are even some medical facilities today that use drones to deliver first aid. After all, these creations are tiny, and they arrive faster. Don't ask me about the logistics, though. 
that's something people in the future will think about. Anyway, just take a look at this man. He just really let himself be lifted by a huge drone. No harness, no nothing. He just held on to the drone and let the thing lift him off the ground. I really wouldn't trust my friends to operate the drone if we're doing this, but this looks kind of fun. Most drones are lightweight and they can't carry much, but there are some professional drones out there that can carry as much as 500 pounds of payload. Imagine the possibilities. But if you plan on doing the stunt that this guy did, then you should get ready to have sore arms. My question is, given the chance, would you even dare to try this thing out? Number 6. Lost Cat Before I show you the clip, let me tell you a few fun facts about our feline friends. Cats have been living alongside humans for thousands of years. Have you heard of the saying that we haven't fully domesticated cats yet? Well, that's not wholly accurate, but indeed, cats didn't undergo any significant changes while living alongside humans. Their form and behavior are still similar to their wild ancestors. There are two main theories about the domestication of our feline friends. Back then, humans saw their usefulness in catching rodents, often on ships and farms. Cats were provided shelter and food while humans had free and living pest control. The second theory is that perhaps humans just tolerated their presence, and soon enough, our relationship with them strengthened. I mean, who could resist their cuteness anyway? Cats might be mostly portrayed as the bad guys, but in reality, they're social in nature, and they have a lot of love to share. Most of them might like their own space, but they try to express their love for their humans in their own little ways. Despite being domesticated, most cats are still perfectly capable of surviving in the wild, and some cats even remain feral. I say most cats because, let's face it, some of the cats out there lack the motivation to get up and hunt. It's 2022, and they know all too well that humans are weak from their charms, and their cuteness is enough to bag them some food. Anyway, in this video, it seems that a cat tried to be a little too adventurous and ended up getting lost in the woods. At least, that's what his owner thought. Dogs are known for having an innate navigating ability that allows them to find their way back home. Cats also pretty much have the same thing. Science has proven that cats have homing powers, which means they can find their way home. As early as 1922, several experiments were conducted to check whether cats could get back to their own homes, and guess what? Results showed that the majority of them were capable of finding their way back home seven times from varied locations and distances. So, I guess yes, this gray fella who was apparently named Tigger was simply playing in the woods. You can even see his expertise in tree climbing, and certainly that tree is much more exciting to climb than the cat poster or cat tower he probably has at home. Well, just another missing animal case solved by a drone. Number 5. Drone Surprise Just imagine that you're working peacefully at your desk. You're staring out the window, and the weather is pretty nice. Then, out of the blue, a drone smashes into your window, breaking the glass and almost hitting you right in the face. Suddenly, your peaceful afternoon is gone. This is exactly what happened to David Pearl in 2016. All he knows is that he heard a loud whistle and a loud bang before he saw the broken glass window and felt pain on top of his head. As he looked around in confusion, tiny shards of glass littered his desk, and a white drone sat lifelessly on top of his now-damaged laptop. At first, David claimed that he thought a bomb had exploded nearby, but he understood the situation as soon as he saw the white drone on top of his laptop. The impact had caused a minor cut on his scalp, leaving him dazed but not seriously hurt. The identity of the drone operator was never revealed. This goes to show that while drones are useful, drones can also cause accidents if they're not utilized properly. Luckily, David didn't suffer from any major injuries from the incident, but he claimed that it could have been worse. Even though drones are tiny, they can still do substantial damage to humans. This incident raised concerns about the safety of drone use in urban environments, sparking conversations about stricter regulations for hobbyists and commercial users alike. Number 4. Pink Lake Now, who's ready for a cotton candy lake? This is Lake Hillier, more popularly known as the Pink Lake. This remote lake is located on Middle Island off the southern coast of Western Australia. Lake Hillier is only about 600 meters in length, but despite its size, its color is enough to leave you in awe. The lake is more amazing to look at from a bird's eye view because it's right next to the blue waters of the Pacific Ocean. The contrast between the two bodies of water is a marvel to look at from afar. You would think that this is a lake from Willy Wonka's factory because of its strawberry milk-colored water. But Lake Hillier gets its color from something else. It was a mystery for a very long time, but after years of research, we now know that it's caused by a mix of colorful bacteria and algae. More specifically, it's because of the presence of Dunaliella salina microalgae. 
These tiny organisms produce carotenoids, a pigment found in carrots. Additionally, there's also bacteria in the water that cause the pink color. Most people would expect the water from a lake to not be salty, but Hillier Lake is a bit different. You see, it's filled with salt and sodium bicarbonate, which means it has very high salinity. In fact, it has a high salt content that, until several years ago, people used to mine salt from the lake. Now it's time for today's topic. This drone accidentally made a chilling discovery after spotting this on the side of a riverbank. Without the drone's thermal imaging camera, capturing this photo wouldn't have been possible. This dramatic picture was taken by a search and rescue drone used by the Avon Fire and Rescue in 2021. The police received a call about a missing person and began their search with only the person's last known location as their lead. It was the dead of night, the fog decreased visibility, and the temperature was colder than usual. Time was of the essence. The rescue team tried to search for the missing person on foot, but their efforts were futile. Luckily, the team had a drone built with a thermal imaging feature, and they spotted a person curled up on the riverbank. The authorities immediately sprang into action and successfully rescued the missing person. This is just one of the many instances where a drone played a significant role in completing a search and rescue operation. Thermal imaging combined with an aerial view is advantageous. There's also the fact that, unlike helicopters, drones are relatively easier to control and operate. Do you think drones are the future, or do you think their benefits also come with a price? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 3. Missing Dog Pets are like our family, and all of us would be distraught if they ever got lost. In this video, thermal imaging was once again utilized to find a lost dog named Coco. The dog went missing around 5 p.m. and was found around 11 p.m. Looking at this clip is quite confusing, but you've got to admit that it's easier to locate living things this way. I admit, watching these people miss the dog repeatedly is a bit nerve-wracking. At some point, you can see Coco just a few feet away from one of the search and rescue teams, only for them to miss each other. There were a couple of instances when Coco went under a roof where she was undetected. When Coco was finally found, you can see that her family was extremely delighted, and surely Coco was delighted as well to find her way back home. Just from this clip, I think drones really are the future. Number 2. Drone Finds Missing Woman Alright, since we've already talked about thermal imaging on drones, let me tell you about another case where a drone played an important role in finding a missing woman. In 2017, the Shelby County Sheriff's Department and the Bargasville Community Fire Department in Johnson County successfully managed to locate a woman thanks to the drone's thermal imaging. The authorities conducted the search and rescue operation during the early morning while it was still dark. The drone's thermal camera picked up heat signatures from the surrounding area, allowing the team to swiftly identify potential locations where the woman might be. Time was of the essence, as her medical condition required immediate attention, making the drone's rapid and accurate detection a critical tool. The woman was found one quarter mile away from her home and she was safely transported to the hospital for the medical attention she needed. Without the use of the drone, the search could have taken hours longer, possibly putting the woman's life at further risk. This successful operation highlights how drone technology has become an invaluable resource in modern rescue missions. Number 1. Devil's Bridge This is the Devil's Bridge in Ardino, Bulgaria. This magnificent bridge was constructed between 1515 and 1518 by a builder from the nearby village of Netolino. Diavolsky Most, this arched bridge, is one of the most magnificent in the area. But as much as people marvel about its architectural brilliance, it's also known for its grim lore. Some say that if you look closely at the water beneath the bridge, you might catch a glimpse of eerie reflections that aren't your own. A famous story about the bridge is that the head builder's wife passed away during the construction of this bridge and she still haunts the bridge to this day. Her spirit is said to wander the stone pathways, with some locals claiming to have heard faint weeping on particularly quiet nights. This is why, after dark, the locals are hesitant to cross the bridge. Another tale associated with this bridge is that the devil's footprint can be found somewhere in the rocks used to make this bridge. The stories associated with the bridge might make it spooky, but aside from its terrifying story, it's still considered a cultural monument. In 1984, it was declared a cultural monument. Today, it attracts visitors not only for its beauty, but also for the chilling legends that surround it. Which clip gave you the chills and which one caught your interest the most? 
Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out more intriguing content on screen. See you in the next video.